Good morning everyone. I am Devi Priyam, Associate Professor from Department of CSE. Today I would like to share the concept of variables in Java. What is a variable? So variable in Java or any programming language, it is a data container which stores whatever the values we are assigning, whatever the values we want to use, we can't use the values directly. First, we can um, declare a variable. Variable have the capability to store the values during the program execution. So, which stores the data values and um, what type of values will be stored in the variable. So, every variable should be assigned a data type which designates the type and quantity of value it can hold. That meaning is what type of value you want to store in that particular variable should be decided by the data type. So whenever we have declared a variable, so in memory, it will be assigned some location. It will be assigned some block of based on the data type. Some blocks will be allotted in the memory location. Suppose if it is um, an integer variable, uh, based on the data type, if it is a character or a boolean or um, float, double, based on the type of uh, data type, the, that much of memory locations will be allotted. Either it may be an 8 byte or it may be 8 bit or it may be 4 bytes. So, based on that type, the value will be assigned to the that memory blocks will be assigned to the variable. So, actually, how many uh, types of uh, variables will be there? We have declared a variable as local. We have declared the variable as um, static or we have declared the variable as instance variables also three types of variables so actually the variable in java is which stores the values and uh, what type of values will be stored that should be decided by the data type and uh, not only the data type will decides the type of value it will be also decides how many memory locations will be allotted to that particular value and the three types of variables are possible in Java, which is local local variable, and the second one is instant, and third one is static variable. What is it? Uh, whenever we have um, talking about the variable, first we can discuss what are the three type, types of variables. So first you can declare a variable, and next you can initialize the variable, and third one is you can decide uh, what type of variable it is. So, three types will be there. One is um, variable declaration and the second one is um, variable declaration and the second one is um, variable initialization and the third one is type of variable. How we can declare the variable? So, you can use the any variable name. A. Before that, you can specify the data type. So, A, I would like to store an integer value in the A. So, for that reason, I have declared the data type called integer. We know that earlier, the data types are eight data types. So, primitive data types will be there. Integer, float, double, long, character, boolean, short, byte. So, what type of value you want to store? You can um, before the variable name, you can um, declare the data type. So, I want to declare a, is a as a integer, int a, float f, f belongs to the float data type, d belongs to the double data type, and um, l belongs to the long data type, and as well as um, c belongs to the character data type. And once the variable is declared, what is the next step? Variable initialization. So, how we can you can declare the variable and after that you can initialize the value. So, what type of value I want to declare? A equal to 10 value. So, you can only store the integer values. If you want to store the double values or you want to store the float or character, it can't be acceptable. So, which returns an error called um, incompatible types. So, if I want to store A equal to K, it can't be possible because what is the data type here it is a integer data type next one is you can separately declare and as well as the initialize or within the step itself you may declare and as well as initialize also 
so int a equal to 10 and next i want to declare a character c and c will be assigned with a value called k value and um, you can also read the values dynamically instead of directly assigning a equal to 10 you can read the value from the user either by using data input stream or file input reader or maybe scanner class so many input stream classes will be there you can utilize any one and you can read the value from the user dynamically next step is type of variables so you know that three types of variables are there local variables instance variables and as well as the static variables what is the meaning of local variables local variables means that are the variables which are declared inside the method, inside the body of a method or inside the body of a particular block, that scope will be belongs to only that particular uh, block only. Suppose I have declared a variable within this block only. I have the open brace and as well as closed brace, I want to declare a variable int int a so the scope of this a variable is only within this block and similarly it will be comes to the method also whenever you have declared a variable in a particular method this the scope of that variable belongs to that method only we can't access from the other methods that will be called as a local variables what is the meaning of instance variables instance variables instead of uh, declaring in the particular method or um, uh, block we can declare within the class immediately after the starting of the class we have declared the variables those are instance variables are uh, object specific so each object will be initialized with each object will assign its own values to the instance variables so instead of um, method instead of um, block we can assign the variables uh, immediately we can declare the variables uh, declare the variables immediately at the class which will be uh, a specific of particular object so each object have its own values its own values for the instance variables and the static variable so what is the static variable we can declare static variable is also called as a class variable static variables are declared by using a special keyword called static these are declared with a special keyword called static keyword so instance variables are an object specific and coming to the static variables it is not an object specific the static variables are i have declared and initialized the uh, static variables before the uh, execution and those variables are common to all objects not a specific object those a separate block of memory will be assigned to them a separate block of memory will be assigned to the static variables which is accessed by those variable will be accessed by all the objects so a1 object will access b1 object will access c1 object will access a static variable value called x but uh, it will be different from the instance variable so instance variable are object specific so we have a separate block of memory for x variables which is accessed by the a and separate block of memory for again b object and separate object for again c object but coming to the case of um, static a common block of memory will be assigned and all the objects will be accessed that common block so very simple example so how I can declare so you you know that if it is a static variable any variable first we need to declare a and what is the data type integer do you want to declare it is a because after starting of the class immediately if you are declaring the variables either it may be instance or it may be static if it is an instance variable no need of declaring any special keyword just you can declare a data type and as well as variable name then automatically it will be treated as a instance variable but if you want to declare a variable as a static variable again 
before the data type there is a special designated keyword called static keyword static int a equal to 1 which will be called as a static variable int data equal to 99 there is no special keyword which is called as a instance variable and int b equal to 90 which will be called as a local variable so what is the difference of instance because instance variable int data equal to 99 and local variable also int b equal to 90 what is the difference if you have carefully observed that the int b equal to 19 it should be declared within a method called there is a method called name itself method so whenever the variables are declared either in a block or method the scope will be only that method in b equal to 90 it should be within only method but after class if you have declared any variables either it may be instance variable or if you are declaring a variable using static keyword it should be called as a static variables so it based on the declaration based on the type where it will be located the scope of variables will be decided so this is the concept now we will go to a simple example Very quickly, I can explain class variables. So, I want to declare int x equal to 10, int y equal to 20. So, what it will be, it should be data type and x equal to 10, no special keyword, no method also. So, I can call it as a, it is a instance variable and int y equal to 20 i want to convert as a class variable so i can use static int y equal to 20 which is class variable and now I declare now declare a method void or you may declare a method public static void main of string arc declare int a equal to 100 what it will be it will be a local because i have declared that in the main method so which is called as a local so we can print local variable yes so i have it is called as a instance variable and uh, there will be one more variable called a equal to 100 and print the local variable a. now if i want to access the instance variable which is a object specific so to access x what we need to do create object first so what is that object uh, variables variables class name v equal to new space variables so just i am giving a simple example you know the, the creation of objects in the other um, video classes also variable v equal to new variables so if you want to print the system dot out dot print let now v dot x similarly if you want to access the static variables no need of object also you may uh, call using the class name itself system dot out dot print ln what is the class name variables dot y So this is it is a basic variables concept i don't want to go to the much more on the static just uh, 
focus on the fundamentals these are the elaboration will be there in the static keyword class and as well as um, objects in the class that and uh, that elaboration examples will be available in those classes so just i am showing how we can access variables dot java go to the command prompt e colon variables spelling will be there b a r a I B L Y E R A I B L Y S Yes Yes Local Variable Hundred Instance Variable Ten and Class Variables Twenty So if you want to get some clarity. Uh, because here in this example we have declared the variables and all the variables are used by in the main method itself you have used the instance variable and the class variable and as well as um, local variable so let us change another method void check void check will be there so is it possible to access is it possible to access uh, a variable called so i would like to try to access system dot out that print ln of x variable i want to access and similarly system dot out dot print ln of i want to access y system dot out dot print ln of i want to access Yeah. So what here? It will be you the clarity. I can uh, differentiate. So we have an instance variable x and y in the variables class. There will be one more method check, and I am trying to access x, and I am trying to access y without um any. uh what is that without any object we can directly access um, except main method because main method is declared with the static so definitely you can uh, access the values from the using a uh, object only so in here the, the check method will access x okay the check method will access y fine and we are trying to check whether the check will access a or not because x and y scope is um, it will be accessed by all the methods you know that it will be accessed by all the methods of the same class but um, what about the a scope a will be declared after main method so we can check whether is it possible or not something okay Yes. What is the error you are getting? We are getting an error called confined symbol. Variable y. It is the check is unable to find, unable to find y because the scope of y is where the scope of y, scope of y belongs to what main method only. But the scope of x and y will be belongs to all the methods of same class. okay the scope of if i have kept these in the comment maybe it will be easy we can um, get the output also v dot check method i can call it yes now it will be printed 10 and 20 also printed but um, whenever you are trying to access the a value then it will be generating an error call what is the error what is the error scope 
uh, error can't find the symbol variable a is unable to find so this is the way and this is the way for uh, declaration of different variables using uh, static keyword or without static then it will be an instance or you may declare in a particular method or you may declare in a block also you may declare a variable in a particular block also so again just i can recollect so what are the variables and how we can declare what are the different data types will be there and as well as the uh, type of variables what is the meaning of local variable what is the meaning of instance variable and what is the meaning of static variable and how it will be accessed so class variables are declared with the help of static keyword and after class we are declaring the variable without any special keyword which is called as a instance and um, the method if you have declared any variable within the method that will be called as a local variable so this is the concept of uh, variables and we can see in the next class with another concept thank you thank you one and all